and now the adventure really begins. Okay, phone go, uh, camera going off. This tag for sure. sure. By planes, buses, trains and cars, I'm heading from Dhaka to Dakar. Well folks, here we are. It is day 81. And we are about to leave Nouakchott and Mauritania and we're heading south to Senegal. Today's destination is uh, an island city, partially an island city, uh, in northern Senegal called Saint Louis or St. Louis. It promises to be a big adventure because this border has a very <laughs> bad reputation so I'm a bit stressed about it to be honest. Um, it is my last border crossing, last land border crossing for the whole trip. So, I mean, that's exciting. I've just got to get through it, yeah? I've just got to get through it. It's got a reputation as, and I quote from the internet, and yeah, you can't trust the internet, but the most corrupt border in all of Africa. So, um, yeah, look, uh, unlikely to film at the border because I am definitely going to want to keep a low profile. Um, you know, I'm not wearing my YouTube shirt or anything like that today. Um, I'm just going to push my way through and I'll let you know how it goes. Um, obviously we'll see the journey to and the journey from. Um, the border is called Rosso. I'm going to take a uh, cab to the uh, Gar Rosso. It's, a, it's, a, it's where all the uh, share taxis leave to go to Rosso. Uh, and then from there uh, I take a share, the share taxi, which will probably be what they call a set plus. Seven places. So it's going to be pretty squishy, but we'll see how we go. Um, and then I've got to sort of, there's a ferry across a river, I've got to make my way, I, I don't know. Yep, I've got to cross the border, I'll let you know how that goes, and then I'll be at another set plus, I guess, to Saint Louis. So anyway, I'm trying to keep a positive attitude, I'm trying to be relaxed, um, and uh, hopefully, you know, we get... We get to the other side safe and sound. Um, it's really about bribes. It's not about uh, physical danger or anything like that. So, bon chance, allons-y. Oh, here we go, folks. <laughs> just told uh, to go to not to Gar Rosso but Gar Salam for taxis to Rosso so hopefully it uh, works out better we'll see as long as it works out yeah so uh, I don't know where we are like he's asking people he's asking someone over there is this guy Salam I, he told me to take Gar Salam because uh, the cars are better I just hope there are cars because there's nothing happening right here so um, yeah another part of the adventure folks so I think we're going I think we're this is the one to Rosso or taxi or bus oh, yeah okay <laughs> Well, I got a ticket, so hey, that's something, hey, and uh, I think we're due to leave in about half an hour, so hopefully within a couple of hours. South Africa. Yeah, you can't expect anything to leave on time. Well, it's 10.30, there's no movement, let alone any indication that we might leave soon. Um, the guy at the reception, I think he meant, well, he thought this was the best transport, but... Um, the share taxis go much quicker because they're a, they're a car and they fill up much quicker. And yeah. Okay, it's half past 11. No, it isn't. It's 10 past 11, so I've been here an hour. Finally, stuff is happening, I think. Yeah. Anyway, they're just finishing the uh, luggage on top. Um, who knows when we can leave, but the, the motor's running, so we may be ready to go, who knows. And there's a little hole here, so you can see what's outside. Look the hole. Cafe. Allons-y, here we go.
Avoir notre chop. Let's do it. Leaving about 11.20, I think 11.25. To Rosso. Just a quick stop here for petrol. Uh, then uh, I guess we'll be on our way. And uh, I'm told it's about three hours. So we'll see. So hopefully we're there by half past two. And uh, yeah, just under 200k to the border. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, and um, as my uh, next door neighbour said, it's very hot. Um, we're over halfway by distance. Um, we might only have an hour to go if we're lucky. Um, yeah, and we didn't we didn't fill up completely, not yet. Touch wood, touch plastic. <laughs> Every minibus journey through West Africa is an adventure. And every uh -huh. adventure is a minibus journey through West Africa. <laughs> just under three hours so there's good timing and uh, yeah this this one maybe leaves when it leaves doesn't have to fill up which is uh, common we're parking the van uh, we're here and now the adventure really begins So there it is, just up there. I guess we're gonna go. I'll put the camera away now. Just walked a kilometre. We're basically at the border, and uh, I've got a friend here, Mata, who's helping me so far. So good, and uh, we're getting some money changed here to the CIFA, the uh, the West African franc, and then. Uh, Back to the border, it's about 100 metres away, not even. Things crossed. A quick summary of the crossing, the Mauritanian side was pretty easy. I just gave my passport to a guy in a small office who stamped it and gave it back. Very few people around, I think that was because it was Friday in Ramadan. Okay, phone go, uh, camera going off. Across the river and uh, the Senegalese part was um, a little bit more of a concern. Someone took my passport as soon as I got off the pirogue uh, and handed it to the border official. He was a policeman. But it all went pretty quickly and smoothly. And uh, very quickly I was on the back of a motorbike to the Gar Routier where the, uh, where the large set places, seven place taxis left from to go to San Louis. Folks, we are in Senegal. And uh, I've crossed the border and it um, didn't really cost me too much. I, um, I latched onto Mata in the car 
and he helped me through and it was a godsend and uh, you know there are good people everywhere and I didn't really I tipped a guy for pretty much nothing it was only four bucks and I had to pay uh, a lot for the pirogue but apart from that we're all good and now I've got a a car if you can call it that to St Louis and as soon as it fills up we'll be on our way 90 minutes to go this is the transport if you can believe it we're loading up folks I'm in the middle, yay! <laughs> 90 minutes, 90 minutes, we can do it. We can survive. Fantastic. The motor runs, we are heading off. We're here in San Louis and we are transferring to the taxi here, uh, to the hotel. Oh, my back is sore. It's quite cool co considering the day we've had. Merci, monsieur. Here we are, this is our hotel and music and cafe and everything. Okie dokie folks, well we made it to San Louis here in Senegal and uh, we are getting close to the end of the trip because this is the last and 17th country. Uh, yeah, our third, well technically our fourth country in Africa. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. It's in, it's. Uh, it's cool, it's really cool, it's just nice, like the weather. Um, and I'm all checked in and, and I got through that day and what a day and the border wasn't too bad actually, uh, but I did have a friend and I think that's that's really good. It's a really good plan uh, when you're traveling to try and make a friend in a situation like that when you know it's gonna be a difficult border crossing and they will help you along. And um, I'm eternally grateful to uh, Mata for all his help. And anyway, here we are. The word of the day is hot. It's freaking hot. I just got into the hotel room 
and I blasted the air conditioning and I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work properly and say la vie and hopefully it works later. Anyways, take care wherever you are in the world. Uh, obviously, uh, I guess the next term will be to explore San Luis here in Senegal. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Take care wherever you are in the world and may the journey never end.